food and skin, food and pimples. Is there a correlation? A couple of patients asking me. Uh, yes or no? Is or isn't? Stay with me, we'll figure it out. So I'm sitting now here in my office, in my clinic in Zurich. Um, I am a dermatologist and let's talk about food and acne. Is there a correlation? So can you eat oh, this yummy chocolate to avoid acne? Yes or no? So first of all, if you stop eating something, it does not mean that you actually get rid of your acne. Uh, everything that sounds too good is too good. You know this, right? So just imagine, I'm, as I said, my clinic is here in Zurich in Switzerland and let's think about Swiss watches. So there are a couple of wheels moving before the big hand is moving. Of course, one part is also food and it's not the chocolate by itself, but it is, it is the protein, the milk protein. So actually the milk chocolate can cause or actually push acne. Um, it's not the milk sugar, don't get it wrong. Milk sugar, lactose, is not the cause. It is the milk protein, which is shown in scientific papers, that it can actually push acne um, and also aging. So um, try to avoid products with high intake of milk protein. Um, and I not mean like normal milk products. Of course, you have to be careful if you eat like one kilo of yogurt, Greek yogurt or uh, a quark here or even with your cafe latte with so many espresso and the rest is milk. I mean, try to skip maybe the cow milk and uh, try to use other kind of milk supplements like the soy milk or kampf milk or um, uh, any kind of um, rice milk, but look at the labels because labels are important um, because sugar also causes or can cause acne. Okay, but let's go back to the milk protein. Um, be also aware milk protein powder. So the men under you who are always train uh, and taking this protein powder, be careful because it has a high um, um, amount of milk protein inside and this can actually cause your acne or make it even worse. Um, so as a girls under you who take this protein powder to get slim, um, not much of a good idea because uh, it also can cause acne. So be careful, read the labels. Um, and therefore, let's talk about labels and sugar. Sugar, carbohydrates, sugar, there are different kinds of carbohydrates, of course, a uh, glycolic, glycolic index. Um, but let's talk about carbohydrates and labels. If you, for example, as I said, I live here in Zurich and uh, my favorite soy milk is this one. Why? Because if you look at labels and you really have to train yourself to read them. And if you look, it's always different and always look at 100 milliliter. In the States, sometimes you guys have like um, serving sizes, uh, like two spoons or whatever. This is tricky because they try to trick you. Always see if there is a label related to 100 gram or 100 milliliter. So in this case, it's 100 milliliter and look at the labels. There is fat, there is proteins and there is carbohydrate. And this just has 0.2. So actually quite good. This is my favorite one, but if you want to drink, so don't drink these stupid sugar rich drinks, even with zero calories, they are sugar inside. Um, and try to get something more healthy, like for example, a tomato juice. Um, it's yummy, um, you can use it with pepper or with salt. And why it's so yummy and why it's so healthy, it has a lot of antioxidants inside. Um, and antioxidants are protecting your cells from further damage. And um, tomato juice is actually really great because it has lycopene. So a big source of antioxidants protecting your cells, protecting therefore also your skin cells and helping you to survive outside um, with the pollution and sun kind of um, uh, um, free radicals production. Um, so mm, tomato juice is definitely a great alternative, but also look at the labels because they are tomato juice um, with a lot of sugar added. So read the labels. Um, and concerning, so first let's summarize, be careful with the milk protein, right? Because it really can push your acne. Second, try to avoid sugar. 
Um, it is not really direct correlation, but just think differently. Um, because sugar is a, is a huge molecule, carbohydrates are, and just imagine this is your cell, right? And these big molecules are actually docking onto your cell. And suddenly it's like, ding, caramelization. You destroy the cells, right? And if you destroy your cells, you, you have more damage. So you, you age quicker and you, you, you don't need this. You need to protect yourself and you protect yourself. So try to avoid sugar. Read carefully the labels. Um, number three, what you have to look at is our probiotics. They're really good because there's a lot of research now showing probiotics um, actually or the right bacteria into your, in your gut are really protecting your cells also against UV radiation. Um, and the third and fourth one, zinc. Try to eat actually vegetables rich in zinc. Why zinc? Zinc in a higher concentration uh, can help with your acne because it is lowering the inflammation and really helping also nice for hair and nail growth. So um, talk to your dermatologist because if you get it in a high concentration, just dermatologists or physicians can give it to you. But you can also look online, uh, Google and see what kind of vegetables, what kind of food are rich in zinc. Okay, so lower your intake in milk protein, try to avoid sugar, um, get more antioxidants uh, and probiotics and use or eat more food rich in zinc. And number five, as I said in my last video, really wash your face good, twice a day, in the morning and in the evening. Okay, if you want to have more suggestions, more things to talk about, beauty, skin, uh, ingredients, supplements, skin food, give me a like, give me a comment, a comment, and of course a like if you like it. Uh, give me suggestions because I'm a dermatologist, I'm not a YouTuber, but I try my best to, and therefore switch me on if it says Dr. Liv because I love beauty.